What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of the Week, number nine. And what are we doing today? Another fantastic new one from Wayward, their very first Amaro. And you know how much I love my Amaros. The Juneberry Amaro. So this is using a few different things, actually. Um, green walnuts uh, from Demon Island, crushed Juneberries. So we're going to have to look up Juneberries. So I'm not quite sure exactly what a Juneberry is. Um, local rosemary and thyme, and then upcycled gin botanicals. So, 32% alcohol. Oh wow. All black walnuts on the nose, for sure. Sorry, green walnuts. Oh. I could stick my nose in this for ages. <gasps> black walnuts, and then just behind, it's just very poignant, focused gin botanical pang straight in your face it starts off very nochino like obviously with the green walnuts and then really rolls into a deep deep amaro sort of style i don't think i'm trying to think of an amaro that i've tasted that has a sort of depth stickiness but not not sweet sticky, just like deep, sticky, mm, 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 chewiness. That's fantastic. On the palate, you're definitely getting the rosemary and thyme. The gin botanicals are there. That green walnut is really the backbone, the really like, oh, the fist um, that the velvet glove goes onto. A bit more chocolates and cocos on the nose now. Mmm. This, with some high proof bourbon, is going to be absolutely money. The Wayward Juneberry Amaro, again, a brand new product from Wayward. Get it from the website. Definitely must have for your Amaro heads out there. Um, I'm real. That's a definite fall for me. Full full time Amaro money, guys. Thanks as always for the support. Bye.